<sighs> I'm so ready to get out of here and party at Jersey Shore. Oh my gosh, the airport is so packed and everyone's heading to Jersey Shore. What a popular vacay spot. I'm so excited to tan. Hey Chad and Becky, the flight here was so rocky. The turbulence was insane. And why is it so freezing here? I didn't even pack a single jacket. Hey Tiffany, yeah there's always a mix of warm or cold fronts here. And I guess you picked the wrong weekend to visit. But it's okay, I still have us booked to go snorkeling at noon. Welcome to Jersey Shore in the Great Atlantic Ocean. Today, you may see things like the common jellyfish, sea turtles, thousands of fish, and more. After we eat lunch, please prepare to start our journey. Make sure to dispose of all trash. Pollution rates have been harming our precious marine life and ecosystems, and we'd like to continue to still be in business. Any questions? Is the water cold? I forgot to bring my designer wetsuit. Here in the coastal zone, temperatures regulated by both continental and oceanic influences. Judging from the sea breeze today, it should be pretty warm. We've had some pretty bad flooding from a coastal storm these past few months, but today is perfect for snorkeling. Yay! I hope I don't break a nail. So, what'd you guys get to see? I saw a sea turtle, and I think I might have even seen a stingray. Wow, that's fantastic, especially because both of those animals are endangered or vulnerable due to tourist attractions. I saw a huge humpback whale. A humpback whale is pretty hard to miss, but remember, there are hundreds of microorganisms you can't see. Since the tide rises and falls twice a day, marine algae, also called phytoplankton and zooplankton, are all around our feet right now. These single-celled creatures may not be visible to the naked eye, but they form the foundation of the food web for marine life. They actually make up 95% of ocean life and generate half of the oxygen in the atmosphere. So don't forget about these little guys when you're admiring Jersey Shore. No way! There are hundreds of little creatures on me right now? Ew! Guys, let's go back and shower. I feel so gross. My legs are killing me from walking through these mountains of sand. These are sand dunes. I heard there aren't many left on the beaches. Unfortunately, that is true, Chad. Most Jersey Shore sand dunes have been wiped away for construction of hotels and condos to accommodate the growing tourist population. These coastal dunes are very unstable habitats due to erosion from the wind and waves. The dune grass perennial you see is essential to preventing erosion and also provides a habitat for coastal creatures like the leatherback turtle and sand crabs. Oh my gosh, that bird just pooped on me. I feel so disgusting. That looked like a hawk. That was probably an osprey. They are everywhere around the coast. At one point, they were almost extinct due to human interference, but there was a project to create new nesting sites for them. After this, their population exploded, and now they're at a healthy level. That yellow bird is an American goldfinch. They only come to the shore in the winter. Next time we were in town, we should go check out the salt marshes. I heard there's all sorts of animals there, like the mud snails and ribbed mussels. Who knew there was more to the Jersey Shore than partying? I don't know about snails, but I love mussels. MTV should cover the Long Beach ecosystem next season. 